So you're going to have to excuse the quality of this study. This is a lung cancer screening CT scan. So obviously we we're looking for lung cancer here. But if you look carefully, you'll notice that a patient has significant emphysema or what looks like just simple emphysema within the mid and upper aspect of the lungs. Superimposed on that, there is this significant reticular abnormality as well. So this is actually a great look for what I call, and I think what others like to call burnt out long ahan cell histiocytosis. We know this patient has had significant smoking history. And when the inflammatory phase of lung ahan cell histiocytosis calms down, it's not uncommon to get this, where you get essentially a fibrotic phase superimposed on the underlying emphysema, as well as some of the superimposed long ahan cell cysts. And this is what it looks like. So in someone who is a significant smoker, if you have areas that look like emphysema, but you have a large degree of superimposed reticulation, looks like fibrosis, looks like scarring, there's architectural distortion, you really should put longer hand cell histiocytosis very high on the differential diagnosis. I think there's actually a pretty typical imaging appearance. So here's a CT from a couple of years ago, which I think looks much more like what you would think of textbook longer hand cell histiocytosis. So clearly there is emphysema in the mid and upper aspect of the lungs. Remember longer hand cell histiocytosis will typically, not even typically, will always spare the lung bases, at least give you relative cost phrenic angle sparing. And clearly we see that in this case. But within these areas of emphysema, again, we see these areas of reticulation, but these nodules as well, these focal nodules, which we know can occur in longer hand cell histiocytosis. And then at this phase, you almost could make out some of the cysts within the lung parenchyma, some of these bizarre shaped cysts coalescing into each other, superimposed on the underlying emphysema. And this is just another rule of thumb, right? So the rule of thumb that we talk about in the setting of diffuse lung diseases and interstitial lung diseases is that very often at end stage, it's hard to make a diagnosis, but earlier on, it's you have a better chance of making an accurate diagnosis. So this is 2019, we actually have a study from 2017. So let's look at that as well to see, could we make the diagnosis on that earlier study with more diagnostic confidence? So here's a study from 2017. And so again, we see the relative bases are sparing, but in the mid and upper aspect of lungs, we see less of the reticulation and more of this nodularity and some of these nodules have a Cheerio-like configuration, which is classically described in the setting of longer hand cell histiocytosis. Maybe hard to see, there's a lot going on here, but you see these, again, you have to look carefully with these cases. They're not, not all gonna be textbook, but we see these Cheerio-like lesions superimposed on the emphysema, just too many nodules here for it to just be happenstance that we're seeing this along with these other findings of smoking-related lung disease. So we see this imaging morphology, this constellation of findings. And again, lung and cell histocytosis should be very high in your differential diagnosis.